war in West Asia continues. Israel has increased the intensity of its operations in the Gaza Strip. A ceasefire deal is nowhere in sight. Neither Israel nor Hamas are willing to make a compromise. Hamas wants a complete ceasefire in Gaza. Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, wants all hostages to be released. But he also wants Israel to control the Philadelphia Corridor. That's the border crossing between Egypt and Gaza. Egypt says it will not give complete access to Philadelphia. And now, Israel has accused Egypt of siding with Hamas. This has ticked off the corridors of power in Cairo. Egypt is preparing for the war to escalate. And Cairo is shopping for weapons. Egypt hosted its first ever international aviation exhibition in the city of El Alemin, which is about 260 kilometers from the capital, Cairo. The three-day show had over 100 countries participating. Fighter jets performed low-level aerobatics. Almost 100 aircraft were seen on the tarmac as part of the static display. But the purpose of the exhibition was simple. Egypt wants new fighter jets. It wants to replace its aging fleet of F-16 jets. The single-engined American-made aircraft have protected Egypt's skies since 2010. But with the environment in West Asia becoming increasingly hostile, Egypt wants more modern jets for its air force. Currently, the country's most advanced fighter jet is the French-made Rafale. The Egyptian Air Force bought 30 of them in 2021. Then there are the older jets, about 40 Russian-made MiG-29s and over 200 American-made F-16s. Egypt also has a handful of really old French-made Mirages. So an upgrade is the need of the hour. And the Egyptian Air Force is desperate for its next fighter ace. During the International Air Exhibition, Cairo may have found what it was looking for. The Egyptian Defense Ministry has reportedly placed an order for a modern fighter jet. But it's not Russian, French or even American. For the first time ever, China has beaten the competition. According to reports, Cairo will buy an unspecified number of J-10C fighter jets from Beijing. The J-10 Vigorous Dragon is made by China's Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group. It's a medium-weight 4.5 generation aircraft. The single-engine multi-role aircraft is known for its delta wing and cannons and looks like a copy of the Israeli fighter jet, the Lavi. The aircraft was first inducted in 2002 and is mainly designed for air-to-air -air combat but it's also capable of strike roles. The acquisition would make Egypt the second nation to opt for the J-10C, with the first being China's iron brother, Pakistan. Islamabad bought the Chinese jets in 2021. It was a response to India buying the cutting-edge French-made Rafales in 2016. The war in Gaza has left the world divided, and this may have been one reason why Egypt has reportedly opted for a Chinese jet and rejected Western-made jets. However, the West really tried to sell their aircraft. Washington even offered the more modern F-15E instead of the F-16. But America's stance on the Israeli war effort has ruffled feathers in Cairo. Despite working with the United States to secure a peace deal, Cairo has remained skeptical of Washington's continued support for Israel. 
so the deal for the F-16s was off the table. Egypt is also miffed with France for selling them the Rafale without giving them advanced weapons, particularly the lethal long-range air-to-air Meteor missile. According to reports, France refused to give Egypt the Meteor missile at the request of Israel and the US. This is because it would have given the Egyptian Air Force air superiority over the Israeli Air Force. So this time when Egypt shortlisted fighter jets, France was naturally not in the running. And when it came to Russia, Egypt remains concerned about the delivery of any Sukhoi jets, considering Russia will not be able to complete orders due to its war in Ukraine. So the ultimate pick for Egypt became China. While China may have bagged a new customer in West Asia, the deal is yet to be finalized. And one nation is trying its best to derail the sale of the Chinese jets, and that is Turkey. In recent months, Turkey has sided with Cairo over the war in Gaza. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan even hosted Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi in Ankara and condemned Israel's actions in the region. Israel and its supporters are responsible for every innocent death due to hunger, thirst or lack of medicine. Turkey and Egypt have a common stance on the issue of Palestine. Ending the genocide that has been going on for 11 months, establishing a permanent ceasefire as soon as possible and the unhindered flow of humanitarian aid continue to be our priorities. In this regard, I would like to emphasize the unified stance of Egypt and Turkey in calling for an immediate ceasefire, rejecting the current Israeli escalation in the West Bank, and advocating for the initiation of a process that fulfills the aspirations of the Palestinian people to establish their independent state on the borders of June 4, 1967, with East Jerusalem as its capital. As the two leaders met, a large Turkish delegation arrived in Egypt to participate in the aviation exhibit and offered Turkish-made weapon systems. It is very important for us that we find an opportunity to work together with uh, not only Egyptian authorities, Air Force, but also the others uh, that you know, we can satisfy their needs in terms of training as well as light attack uh, version of it. So. Uh, that's our centerpiece for this show uh, and we also uh, are uh, receiving lots of interest for number of other products which uh, helicopters, attack helicopters, uh, UAVs and uh, of course fifth generation car. Turkey's aviation industry has grown rapidly in the last decade. Its TB2 and Akinje drones are selling like hotcakes. The most recently unveiled fifth-generation stealth fighter jet, Khan, has everyone talking. In a bid to outdo others, Turkey has offered to sell the stealth jet to Egypt and has invited Cairo to be a stakeholder in the Khan project. Delighted to see Egypt participating in any of our programs, including Khan, but that is, uh, as I said, uh, up to uh, Egyptian authorities, Air Force and the presidency level. Uh, but we are ready, we are working on it, we have it. We are number of, uh, you know, uh, one of uh, four countries who has fifth generation and working on the sixth generation. With such a lucrative offer on the table, China is running out of time. Beijing will have to quickly seal the deal for the J-10s or witness Egypt turn to Turkey and become the first Arab nation to fly stealth fighter jets.